So I'm in my Tesla Model Y and there was a over the air software update this week and that was version 2025.38 and also 38.3.1 came down at the same time which introduced Tron mode. That's getting a lot of coverage on YouTube. But in this video, I thought I'd cover 3D buildings. So 3D buildings is pretty self-explanatory. You get 3D buildings on the maps. And a lot of people will think, well, that's nothing special. And true, you're right. A lot of cars have done this for a long time. However, with the Tesla, we've always had satellite view, which other cars don't. And Tesla were doing this even back in 2012 in the Model S when cars in that era didn't even have touch screens and they just had like three or four inch screens in their vehicles. So really 3D buildings is a little bit pointless because if you want the buildings, you can actually have the real buildings with satellite view. However, let's turn that off. So this is the new 3D buildings view. So a standard, that's what you have with the mapping. It's zoomed out and if you zoom in, you do get the buildings, but they're just two dimensional. So now you get this new option here, it's a little uh, cube, you press that, you now get a slightly 3D view of the road and you get all the buildings in three dimensional, but you also are zoomed into the map much more, which personally I don't think is quite as good. You're a bit too zoomed in while you're driving. But anyway, let's just drive up here and you can see the 3D mapping work. Well, the 3D building view, as you can see, we've got all these buildings around us in 3D. And let's just navigate to somewhere. So I'm going to go and charge the car at Oxford. Drive west on Diamond Drive for four tenths of a mile. And it should now flip. There we go to the new view. So that's what you get with this new update. It's quite nice actually and what I found where it does help is if you're driving along and you've got to take a junction left or right it shows you the building where you've got to turn and that helps. You know if there's multiple junctions and you're not quite sure which one you're going to want to take a quick glance down you can see oh yes it's next to a big building and it just gives you that bit of extra verification that you're taking the right road so yeah it's quite nice um, but as I said to be honest most other cars have been doing 3D buildings for a long time and been doing these sort of three-dimensional tilted views which until now Tesla hasn't done particularly well but anyway as I said we've always had this satellite view which you can put on now and you can actually have the real buildings. But I don't like that view actually while I'm driving because there's too much information. I much rather have that turned off and just have the grayscale mapping and having the buildings on there in three dimensional is actually pretty good. It's quite nice. It does help with your navigation. So that's all I wanted to cover really in this video is just to say if you now click on the map you get the menu up here and you've got this new option at the bottom which is the cube and that turns on your 3D buildings view and it does zoom in so it is a bit different when you're using it. Anyway that's it hope you found it useful if you have please do click the thumbs up and if you want to know more about the Tesla Model Y in the video description below is a link to a playlist where you can see other videos I've made. Okay, I'll see you on the next one.